Hello friends, this video on body movements part 17 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So how do muscles contract and relax? So here we will take the example of rubber band. So when you take a rubber band and you stretch it, what happens? It gets expanded. Right, so initially it was like small and now it got expanded. But what happened when it got expanded? Now when it got expanded, if you look at it, it becomes thinner. So if you look at the thickness, this thickness, so you will see that it is thinner. And if you look at this thickness, this is thicker. So just try it out yourself. Take a rubber band, stretch it. The moment you stretch it, it becomes thinner. Right? Now, when the rubber band is in this position, what, what is this position? Is this contraction or expansion? So this is definitely contraction in case of this rubber band. And what is this? This is expansion. So whenever it is in expanded form, then it becomes thinner. And when, it, when in contracted form, it becomes thicker. So the same concept applies to muscles as well. Muscles become shorter, stiffer and thicker when contracted. So here you see all of these criteria will be satisfied. Thicker we already saw, shorter. So you see here, when you expand it, it becomes bigger. It, it, lengthwise it becomes bigger but thickness wise it is less so that that way it is shorter stiffer when you look at this one since it is very thin it, it, it can be easily broken in fact if you expand it a little more sometimes the rubber band breaks but in case of uh, a contracted rubber band it doesn't so it is stiffer shorter and thicker so the same thing will apply to muscles now what happens with muscles is so this is how it is when your hand is in the, it is like stretched out. The moment you fold your hand, what happens? So basically you have your bones here. So the brown colored structures which you see, they are the bones and these pink structures represent muscles. So the muscles are connected to the bones. So when these muscles contract, the bone is pulled up. Again, when the muscles relax, the bone is, bone is pulled down. Now, muscles do not push bones. They can only pull bones. So, let's say, so muscles only pull bones. So, let's say you have a bone here. Okay, let's say this is a bone. So, if you have a muscle on this side, then you also need to have another muscle on the other side. Do you know why? Because when this muscle will contract, it will pull the bone in this, this direction. So that will cause a movement. Maybe that will make you make your hand move in this way, like how you are moving in this picture. But again, you want to go back to the original position also. Your hand wants to go back to the original position. So for that, the bone has to go to the original position so for that somebody needs to pull the bone in this direction. So if there is a muscle here, when this muscle will contract, it will pull the bone in this direction. So that is why muscles always work in pairs. So there are two muscles which will work complement to each other. One will pull the bone in one direction, the other one will pull the bone in other direction. So muscles always pull bones. So let's see how exactly they pull bones. As I said, muscles work in pairs. When one contracts, the other relaxes. So that is the strategy they follow. So when you have, say, a set of muscles. So when this muscle is contracting, so what is it doing? It is pulling the bone in this direction. The next, that time, the other muscle is relaxing. Now next, in the next moment, when this muscle is relaxing, then the bone is pulled in this direction. So when one contracts, it pulls the bone in one direction. Again, when the other contracts, it pulls the bone in the other direction. So that's how your, the movement of your bones are controlled by muscles. So one muscle contract, it pulls the bones. To take the bone back to its original position, another muscle has to contract. 
so based on whatever we have discussed so far we understood that all the types of movements that take place in our body that happens due to uh, the combined effort of bones muscles and joints so the movements happen only at those Uh, points of our body where we have joints because due to the presence of joints the movement of bones over each other is easy it happens it primarily happens due to the contraction property of muscles and since bones are there so uh, there is a rigid support to our body so the the bone is one of the major constituent of the skeletal system had there been no bones there would have been no stiffness and hence there would have been no movement so all of these three together help in movement so here in this uh, picture you can see uh, a guy playing football so what kind of movement is taking place here so as you can see he it, his uh, legs are playing a major role as knee so you see in looking at this leg you can now say that it is extension and due to the presence of a joint here he is able to flex it because what kind of joint is present in the knee knee has hinge joint and we have learned that in hinge joint you can move it back and forth now how exactly is it moving back and forth so that movement the movement inside is happening due to the uh, muscles and the bones so if you can see here the moment he folds his leg so these muscle this muscle contracts and pulls the bone in the upward direction so the bone is pulled in the upward direction and that helps to make this posture the next moment when he stretches his leg what happens this another muscle this is another muscle which contracts and therefore it pulls the bone back in the original position and that's why you are able to do this you see it is internally controlled by muscles but the movement happens due to the pulling or due to the dip displacement of the bones and the points where this movements happen they are the joints because the bones cannot move in between you cannot make it move somewhere you cannot curve it somewhere so they can move only at these points so as you can see here so the movement is happen because they slide on each other at these points so that's how we make various thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.